another Fubara and Wiki has surfaced in Kaduna State. Eh, eh Rufai and the boy, where you carry put for their in boy boy, say, eh, and I'm the governor. They don't they get their own issues now. Eh? Problem galore. Make a note talk too much. Let me give you the genesis of this problem so that you understand where the problem they come from. Eh? Help me watch the genesis, the breakdown. Watch this video. Released in Kaduna State over the high debt profile left by former governor, Nasir El Rofai has generated considerable tension in the state. Supporters of El Rofai and that of the current governor, Malam Obasani, have been at one another's truth, defending their principles and trying to win the hearts and minds of the people of the state. Governor Sani had said his administration is finding it difficult to pay workers' salaries in view of the large amount allocated to debt servicing on a monthly basis. According to Sani, Al Rufai left the state with a debt of $507 million, 85 billion naira, and 115 contractual liabilities. But in a swift reaction last Saturday, Arufai's son, Bashir, accused the governor of abandoning his official duties to AIDS and relocating to Abuja. Governor Sani described the attack by Bashir as a distraction. Meanwhile, the All Progressive Congress, APC, has suspended its woman leader, Mariam Suleiman, for criticizing Governor Sani over this issue. You hear him? The governor, I mean the man where Erufai carry make governor inside the in state. Obasani. Mm -hmm. The guy come outside though, he they cry. He not get money to work, he not get money to work. The state is in debt, the state is in debt. Erufai is a is is owing above five hundred million dollars in debt. How much is our money? He award contrast where we say he no pay. Now see this government now they pay. How far now? How do we do it? The guy they cry. Erufai son can reply and say, You where they talk. Maybe you're uh, your, your getting eights. Now your eights, they, they do your job inside the Kaduna. You carry yourself, go they live inside the Abuja. How do I want to take us? I say, The state is in debt. <laughs> Until we deal with God for that reason. Issues like this. We keep coming up now. Another fight was that is like a nasty that will hinder progress and success inside that state, as is currently happening in River State. No, well, one man will respond to these allegations. Now, this is where they happen between Obasani and Erufai in a master. Oh, the guy, one man will respond. He said, A former. Chief press to a former governor of Kaduna State. Muna, listen to what this guy guys talk. And I go hear the sense where he make. Eh, you will now understand why they say one good turn deserves the other. <laughs> Kama, you see, bastard. Muna, Muna, help me watch this man. I don't consider it as uh, Obasani. Uh, criticizing Nasuru or anything of the sort. I consider it as a proactive act of governance and uh, coming clean with the people. I think people are trying to create a mountain out of a molehill. The other flip side to it is that this statement that the governor made about inheriting about uh, 570 or somewhere around million dollars debt left behind by Nasiru was the same uh, statement that opposition figures made uh, in the countdown to the election, which earned them the wrath of the former governor, uh, deprivations here and there, including uh, uh, revocation of uh, titles of uh, lands of even former governors by Malan Nasiru. So I wonder what he is going to do with Uber now that he has come out to say the same thing, the exact same thing that the opposition figures had complained of before he left office. Right. And come to think of it, the uh, 
I believe the former governor is being served a dose of his own medicine because this was somebody who, before he became governor, had abused the hell out of all the governors that preceded him for plunging the state into a cesspit of debt. And uh, to think that all the debt that he was complaining about, including putting a figure of the indebtedness of the state on each citizen of the state. Uh, by the time he came, the debt that he inherited was some, uh, according to the debt office, some $93 million, which one of the governors that uh, he succeeded actually had a problem with. Because from our sources, it was actually $83 million, yes. okay. he, which he inherited. And he was all over himself complaining about how the state was plunged into this kind of indebtedness. And to think that the same person who made that complaint has now left the state with $574 million, which is about 600% of that $83 million, I, I, I think uh, it's uh, beggar's belief. And uh, I think it is a, an episode that we should uh, get out of as fast as possible. Oh, okay. Let me repeat that the governor calling stakeholders to a meeting, telling them what challenges he is facing and uh, uh, his liabilities is in the best, uh, uh, what you, if you, if you like, an exhibition of uh, proactive and good uh, governance. Oh, okay, so uh, let, let's meet Mr. One thing, excuse me, one thing that the governor may, might not have told uh, people, if my sources are correct, is that even on the eve of the departure of the former governor, a 20 billion naira loan was uh, procured from Zenith Bank, uh, mortgaging the entire IGR of the state. Uh, so, to all intents and purposes, now the state government, apart from the fact that it left those uh, multi-million dollar debt, the state government does not even have an IGR to fall back on. Okay, uh, okay, thank you. Can I data, come in here, I Mr. Sirajo? You don't hear him. He said, why is he the fire crying? Wait, wait, why is he crying? I'm going to be when you enter power, you can't tell everybody, say, your predecessors, they did this one, they did that one. They left a debt of... Uh, 90 something million dollars but according to the man he say the value now it's something not be 90 something but he said not 90 something so you do this he, he's, he's stopping you from working now why would they borrow such an amount of money then in eight years that money now where you they complain you can increase them by 600 percent 600 percent now you increase the money where they complain say they borrow them borrow and Obasani is complaining. You the open mouth, they talk. Yow, 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 yow. Who is the talk give? Are you, are you, are you mama? <laughs> ah, when I see Kama, Kama a bastard. In Marianda, so you did it to other people. Now they are doing it to you now. If they provoke your son, they come out, come respond. Now I make an end with this. Why on a thing say all of this thing now they come out? After a Rufai, go visit SDP identify with them and they don't they do some kurukere kurukere waka to show that he might be against the presidency of Tinubu come 2027. You don't reason now. Nobody talk anything no, about debt. This one. nobody talk anything. But when Erifa started doing his kurukere kurukere waka to show that maybe he's having an eye on the presidency, this one's done ball out now so that people will carry for my say this guy and a tifo. Uh, so that if you reach that time, they go still use this one that way. Or basta, they don't talk. Attack them. Say you that carry debt, uh, that, that that increase the debt of your state by six hundred percent. That's why you want to take on king. Like, oh God, forget. You see this country. Uh. <laughs> Just make sure so you don't get any skeleton in your cupboard if you want contest for anything. I got walking now, they will stain your whites. Why do you think people like Pitovi? They have tried now to stain his white. He's not stainable. Talk, talk, talk. They cannot prove it. Eh? But look at the small move now that uh, Erufai has made in white dust in already. I'll go see you on a later day. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igbo land, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe, and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. 
a majestic, robust and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocin Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocin Ijele, Innocin vehicle, the pride of African roads.